This question gives us some answer choices that can be categorized. Uh, regardless is basically but, but most of them are very literal. In other words means we're about to say what we said in other words. And in conclusion is we have a conclusion. And for example is we have an example. So uh, we do need to know that for example is a common category on the test, but it's one that just, you know, the, the word kind of means what the category means. Um, but let's take a look and see what we can get from these sentences. A potter choosing which type of clay to use for a piece considers two key factors, the desired look of the piece and its intended use. Earthenware clay is often used for decorative pieces because of its rustic look. This type of clay is not often used in industrial settings, though, because it is less durable than other clays. Well, to me, this is a good example of like, they're talking about a big idea, right? They're just choosing the type of clay. But then we get a very specific small idea, right? A, a specific type of clay and what it's good for and what it's not good for. So they choose clay based on the look and the intended use. And then they gave me an example of that happening, right? A specific clay and its use and how it looks. So uh, that's a perfect for example. It's not in other words, be very literal about that. They are not summarizing what they just said. They are providing an example that supports what they just said, but in other words means we are taking what we just said and we are saying the exact same thing in other words. So be very literal about these transitions. It's also not a conclusion, right? Like I get why you might think that if they're providing evidence for something, you'd be like, oh, they're concluding what they were arguing by providing evidence for it. But again, no, you're twisting things. It's an example. It's, it's not a conclusion. We're not summarizing some big idea. It would be different maybe if this first sentence that they gave us were actually the last sentence. Then maybe that's a conclusion. We have our example to start, and then we're concluding by kind of summarizing what that example means for us. But that's not what's happening here. And it's definitely not regardless. There's no contrast here. Regardless is almost uh, dismissive as if like, oh, the thing I just said doesn't matter. That's not happening here. So hopefully you just recognize this is a very clear case of an example. But if you have trouble with that, I do recommend thinking of examples as this kind of transition between a big, big claim, a big idea, and some smaller version of that, right? It's the same idea, but it's getting more specific. And so that's why, uh, you know, a lot of these questions of examples is that's a very common way of like making a point, making an argument. So we're going to see it a lot on the SAT.